Hello guys, welcome to this video. I'll be looking at activity 20A. The question says, open the file talkshop.csv in cells B14 to B17. Calculate the total number of days that all students worked in the, in the school shop, the average number of uh, days worked, and the minimum and max, max, sorry, the maximum and minimum values. Okay, so let me just take care of this part of the question. Okay. So let me open talkshop.csv uh, from my files. I want to go to chapter 20, look for talkshop.csv. want to open that. So before I, uh, before I continue, I want to save it as uh, task, sorry, activity 20A. Okay, so let me just uh, find a place. Let me just save it here. Let me save it inside uh, chapter 16 because I want to use this to answer a particular question. So I want to save it as uh, a worksheet, sorry, a workbook, all right? So I will call this activity 20A, all right? Save that right there, okay? So the question says, from here, we can see that um, we are meant to actually calculate the total number of days worked, right? So I want to use the sum function in this case, equals and then sum, I want to write some and then take the suggestion. I want to double click on it here and then take my range here and then enter. But of, of course, um, Excel will, will close the bracket for you. So the average will be the, so I'm going to use the average function to double click right here and then take the range also and then enter and then that will calculate the average um, uh, number of days worked. So the maximum, I want to use the max function and then close my brackets and then take my range also within uh, here. That is B3 to B12. So enter. Minimum, I want to have equal sign and then use the function mean and take my range from here to here. All right. And then enter. Okay. So these, they've given me the, I've, I've been able to calculate the total, the average, the maximum, and the minimum. Uh, number of days worked. All right. So the next part of the question is to place your name on the spreadsheet, right? Okay. So for me to uh, place my name on the spreadsheet, I want to go to insert. I want to go to header and footer from uh, here, text header and footer. Your own might, di might display differently, but this is how you do that in my own. So I can have, um, what is it I have? Should you have there? Uh, my name, just my name. Okay. That's fine. In most cases, you have to put your center number and candidate number. So, but let me just have my name right here. Okay. So, I want to exit. I want to click inside and then go to normal right here. Nice. So, um, if you want to know whether your name is on the, I think, uh, let me see. Uh, this I should add my name on this spreadsheet so i choose to do it on the header okay you can choose to do it on the spreadsheet i can i can choose to do it maybe um somewhere down here right you can just do it somewhere down here depending so they didn't specifically say you should do it on the spreadsheet on the um header but that is always the best way to do it so let me just have it here too okay so the next thing is to what um, print your spreadsheet showing the values okay so of course the values is just like this so i want to go to file i want to go to print and then of course uh you see that my name is also in the um on the header and then of course down here so whichever one you want to do okay so that is um printing the uh special um, um showing the values so i want to also print your spreadsheet um, showing uh, formula used, okay? So you want to go to the spreadsheet, you want to go to um, formulas, formulas tab, you want to go to show formula right here, and then it will show the formula. So I want to arrange this, I want to make sure that um, everything is showing. So go to file again and then print, and then it will show you the formula, okay? In your printout, okay? So you can go ahead to print. All right, so that's how you can get this done. So I want to click on save to save my changes. So that's it. So thank you so much for this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.